and now I'm on the road with Discover Down Under. Welcome to Discover Down Under. Tim, I am so excited because this week on Discover Down Under, we are going places we have never been before. Brookie, we are venturing into uncharted territory. We're breaking new ground. We're leaving no stone unturned. OK, I get the message and so do they. We have made our way to Tasmania. Just like Abel Tasman, Brookie and I have crossed Bass Strait and we're immersing ourselves in the wilderness of the beautiful West Coast. Oh, from Devonport to Cradle Mountain, we are going to see some spectacular sights. Oh, stick with me, baby. I'm going to take you to there. <laughs> <laughs> it's over there somewhere. Just there. I'm excited. Let's get going. Let's go. About three hours north of Hobart, Devonport sits on Tasmania's north coast and is the closest Tasmanian city to mainland Australia. That's right, Brookie, and that makes it the first port of call for someone travelling to Tassie by ship. Someone like us, homeyotes. Ship away. When you're travelling with Spirit of Tasmania, your holiday begins as soon as you drive on board. I'm towing the ripping Avita Sapphire, while Brooke's driving the Esperance motorhome. And it could not be easier to load these babies up. I'm excited about this. How calm is it, Brooke? Oh, this is amazing. It's just glorious. We're going to have the best crossing. The best way to explore Tassie is by road. And with your own car, caravan or motorhome, it just makes it that much easier and more enjoyable. Not having to worry about baggage allowances means that you can take all of your favourite caravan and camping gear. And the best thing is, whilst on board, you can put all the final touches to your trip, or if you're like us, you can start planning. Oh, well done, Brookie. Here we go. You've got every brochure. Look at those raspberries. If you're planning on doing a bit of fishing or exploring the national parks, you can even purchase national park passes and fishing licences from tourism right on board the ship. From their low-cost, high-comfort ocean recliners all the way up to the deluxe cabins, Spirit of Tasmania has something to accommodate all budgets and all levels of comfort. I think I'll go for a bit of luxury. With the choice of all the amazing bars and restaurants on board, Brookie, it means you're travelling in style, or at least dining like royalty. The Tasmanian produce here in the Leatherwood restaurant mm. just looks delicious. We are indulging in the three-course menu, or is it four? After dinner, it's time to kick back and relax and enjoy the trip. Cheers. Cheers. To the spirit of Tasmania. Bye, Melbourne. Rookies lounging back and settling in for a free movie in the onboard cinema. Sure am, Tim. I hope it's something good. Oh, great. I missed this episode. You can't wait, and I can't wait. Oh, Tim. Travelling with the spirit ensures you arrive refreshed, relaxed, and ready to begin your Tasmanian adventure. But it's important to book ahead. So jump on to spiritoftasmania.com.au to secure a spot for you and your van or motorhome. Just a few minutes down the road from the ship and open from 7am, you can't drive past the House of Ambers without stopping for a beautiful brekkie. Oh, and a chat with Igor, a Belgian chocolatier with a taste for Tassie. What attracted you to Tasmania for... For, for chocolateering? I, I, I'm, I was 20 years old, it was just an adventure for me. And yes. I ended up working for a pastry chef in Devonport and I just fell in love with the place. And you only have to look around here in Tasmania, you'll know why very soon. But I guess it's all about the beautiful raw materials and especially in this area too, isn't it? That's right, that's what it comes down to. And here in this area, we've got a lot of small producers that are doing some fantastic things. Uh, we've got the berries, seasonal yeah. berries. So there's lots of ingredients we can use. What berries are going at the moment? We got the last of the raspberries still. Oh, really? And they're very sweet, they're fantastic. They're are they fantastic. Local? Yeah, yeah, just down the road there, uh, Christmas Hills Raspberry Farm. Do you want to? Next up. OK. <laughs> Amber 
Flanders Chocolates and Christmas Hills Raspberry Farm are both part of the Cradle to Coast Tasting Trail, which winds its way through scenic northwest Tassie. And Brookie and I are blazing this trail. Next stop, raspberries. And I hope there's some left because I'm very excited. Get it? Lindy, we were told that these are the last raspberries of the season, so Tim had to bring me here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these are the very last raspberries. We've had a really long season, started in November, and um, we're just oh. about finished. Are they the best berry? They're the best berry in the world, I think. Mm. Raspberries, are, you know, every other berry is so common. They're beautiful. Oh. Oh. Gee, and such a strong taste of raspberries. When you buy them straight from the farm, you've got that flavour, it's got more sugar, because it's picked when it's ripe. You're open all year round, aren't you? Yep, Not we're open. just through the season. We're open seven days a week, all year, except for Good Friday and Christmas Day. But Yeah, because you can do so much with frozen raspberries as well. The chocolate raspberry, now that's my secret weapon. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can create world peace with that. Say no more, Lindy. I just couldn't choose what to have, so there's a few things to try. Raspberry crepes, raspberry soda, yes. raspberry daiquiri, mm -hmm. raspberry latte. Oh, oh, not to mention... La pista la resistance! A chocolate-coated raspberry. Oh, wow! One for me. Mm. Mm. The food here is beautiful, but the best thing of all is if you have one of these, which Brookie and I do, the CIL Travel Saver card, with every breakfast, they'll give you a free tea or coffee, which is fantastic. And the coffee can be a raspberry latte. Which sure can. <laughs> a and, raspberry cappuccino. Mad if it isn't. 